y'all. Today we's gonna talk a lot about Cornelius Vanderbilt. And since y'all seemed to pay attention so well when I was talking in my prairie hand voice, I figured I'd do this entire video that way. I hate talking like Prairie Annie. It ain't gonna happen, folks. But the first part is gonna happen. We are gonna spend the next few minutes talking about Cornelius Vanderbilt. Mostly because his name is just so much fun to say. Cornelius. Cornelius! 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 If there was ever a man that proved that age has no boundaries in business, it was old Cornelius Vanderbilt. He's known to most Americans for his success in the railroad industry, but there was a long business life to Cornelius Vanderbilt before he ever got started in railroads. By the age of 16, Cornelius Vanderbilt had begun his own transportation empire. He started with a small ferry boat business along the Hudson River that proved so successful that during the War of 1812, when he was just a young teenager, the government awarded a contract to Vanderbilt to bring supplies to nearby American forts. By his mid-30s, Cornelius Vanderbilt had one of the largest ferry businesses in the United States. He had shown an incredible amount of business sense by offering lower rates than his competition and up-to-date ships. In fact, his business was so great that his competitors actually paid him to leave the Hudson River. By the 1850s, Vanderbilt had one of the most successful steamboat operations that the United States had ever seen, worth several million dollars. By the mid-1860s, with the popularity of the railroads coming into play, Vanderbilt started to see a new opportunity for building up his business. You know, despite the fact that he was almost 70 years old, and you guys think that your teachers are old, he started to purchase railroad lines in New York. Having learned from his earlier business in running steamboats, Vanderbilt quickly started to squash the competition by offering better service and lower fares. He bought out smaller companies and started to create his own massive railroad empire that stretched from New York all the way up to the Great Lakes region. Or, you know, that little city that we like to call Chicago. Chicago? That's the meatpacking place! Yeah, good job on that. Vanderbilt's success was helped considerably by the improving technology seen in the railroad industry throughout the 1800s. A lot of this can be attributed to Gustavus Swift, a mastermind in the meatpacking industry. He helped to develop the refrigerated train car that allowed for safe transportation of meat all the way across the country. With the refrigerated train car, cattle could be slaughtered in Chicago, the meatpacking capital of the U.S., as was pointed out earlier, and transported safely all the way to the major cities in the Northeast. This proved to be good not only for railroad barons who could now increase their trade throughout the nation, but also the ranchers who owned the cattle that needed to be transported. Prior to the development of the refrigerated train car, those Texas Longhorns that you've learned all about would be packed tightly into those trains, and after a while, like any living creature that gets sick of his or her neighbor after spending too much time with them, would wind up getting into fights using their long horns to essentially slaughter each other, leaving their meat inedible to everybody in the receiving cities. So the refrigerated train car became really important to people who wanted to eat fresh meat also because they didn't have to worry about the cows killing each other with their giant long horns. Yeah, so Vanderbilt! What a guy! He used the booming railroad industry to build up an empire worth several million dollars in just a few short years and let his professional capability shine when driving his competition out of business in an attempt to maintain control of the railroads. At the time of his death, Vanderbilt's fortune was worth almost 95 million dollars, almost all of which was left behind to his son William. Hi! 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 You don't get to be in the video anymore, we already filmed you!